Hello! Last week I posted a video and talked briefly about how to get parallel wet-dry filter processing on the Matriarch. It was inspired by a software synth, Serum, that can do that. You can get some great sounds doing it, so I wanted to try it on the Matriarch. Anyway, I found an even easier way to do it, so here's a Matriarch quickie for you. Okay, if you want to follow along, I've got a real basic unison patch set up. All four oscillators are saw waves, all in the same octave, 16 foot for now. I've got oscillators 3 and 4 slightly detuned. All are around 10 o'clock in the mixer. Filter is in parallel mode, no resonance on filter 1. Resonance is about 1 o'clock on filter 2. Spacing is all the way counterclockwise. There's no keyboard tracking or filter envelope amount. In terms of envelopes, not using the filter envelope generator. Amp envelope has zero attack, 8 o'clock on decay, 10 o'clock on release, and sustain is midway up. At the moment, no other modulation or delay. If you're in parallel filter mode and have the cutoff at 12 o'clock and spacing all the way counterclockwise, you're basically getting a combination of unfiltered oscillators and filtered oscillators from the low pass filter. And that's exactly what we're trying to achieve. So let's have a listen. Cool. Sounds good. Somewhat like the serum patch. But if we modulate the filter, we're not changing the volume of the wet versus dry, we're just creating a notch filter and modulating that. Sounds cool, but it's not the same effect. So back to the drawing board. Okay, so all we have to do is patch the mixer out into an attenuator, which will act as a VCA, and then into filter 1 input, and that's it. We don't even have to malt the output of the mixer into VCF2 because that's taken care of by Matriarch's internal routing. Cool. This attenuator controls the dry amount. If you want better control over the wet dry amount or just don't want to reach all the way up to that attenuator, why not patch the mod wheel CV out into this attenuator down here? And of course, out of the attenuator into the CV input for the attenuator 2. Now we can set high and low values for the modulation. Put the mod wheel on full and dial in your top value with attenuator 2 and your low value with attenuator 3. So I've got a lot more resolution now. And it's easier to play with my hand not reaching so far away. Got a lot of options for modulation. One quick thought would be to modulate the cutoff of VCF2 with an LFO. Now we're not using the filter envelope generator, so why don't we try using it to modulate the amount of wet and dry. Just patch envelope out into our attenuator. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Anyway, there's tons of options for this. I just was excited to see how easy it was to patch parallel filters. Thanks for watching.